one thing we've done is we've offered curbside uh, pickup as well as delivery. So we've just offered that as a service, um, contact free, trying to meet the needs of our community. That's been very um, effective, I think, in, in allowing for especially our senior community to um, be able to receive groceries without putting themselves at risk. I feel very proud that I'm helping out in a lot of different areas, uh, providing food for our community. Uh, we started doing our deliveries and curbside pickups, which has been huge for some of the elderly people in our community. There's a lot of things that people are doing to try to uh, limit the amount of contact that we have with other people in the store. We place signs out at the entrance and then at, at the cashier. We put lines on the floor so that people maintain um, their, their distance. Um, and we put out um, gloves and um, wipes, things, things like that, for customers to use when they come into the store. So we offer PPE for our employees. We're you know, sensitive to employees' needs as far as health requirements. We ask that if they're feeling sick, they should stay home. And we give them uh, time uh, to address any health concerns that they have. The biggest challenge is with our suppliers and the supply chain, um, just keeping our prices in order. You know, we're not a big box store. We're, we're, just, we're just the local independent grocery store, so. The price of eggs from our supplier went up about 100% in one week's time. What we did after that was we found a different supplier for our eggs for the time being at a much lower price to try to help out the communities. Also in the meat department, uh, the the price of beef was very volatile for a moment. It's starting to regulate back out, and we have in-store coupons and specials on all that stuff right now to try to help out the community and alleviate some of that pressure on uh, perishable commodities. We're most proud of just being able to serve our community, um, those that are at risk, the populations that are at risk, our senior communities, and make, making sure and keeping our staff healthy. The biggest challenge uh, is probably just the, the how quickly and drastically things have changed. There's a lot of different regulations that are coming in on a regular basis from the CDC, the World Health Organization. We're trying to follow all of their recommendations as close as we can. My best advice is to limit the amount of trips that you take to the store, limit the amount of people that come with you to the store. Be careful when you're in, in the store on what you're touching. If you're touching a lot of things that, that can spread germs to people, just be mindful of other people and, and, and us as workers because we are, we are, we're kind of the front line on this. We're all in this together, so just you know, we feel like everyone should just be kind to each other, uh, follow the, the guidelines that are, that are out there, take the pandemic seriously. It's a difficult time. There is a new normal out there, so um, just be calm, be patient, be kind to everyone, and, and we'll get through this together.